Education is one of the most important aspects of children's lives. Because education is so imperative, it is equally as important to ensure that each child is getting a good quality education that develops a lifelong love of learning. To do this, teachers must be able to teach every student in a way that is effective and engaging for them. Multicultural education is a philosophical concept built on the ideas of freedom, justice, equality, and human dignity as acknowledged in various documents, such as the U.S. Declaration of Independence, Constitutions of South Africa and the United States, and the Universal Declaration of Human Rights adopted by the United Nations. The article on the definition of multicultural education continues on to say that multicultural education is a process that permeates all aspects of school practices, policies, and organizations as a means to encourage the highest levels of academic achievement for all students. Although multiculturalism is often used interchangeably with diversity, they are actually different. Diversity is the physical attributes such as race, gender, age, sexual orientation, etc. It mainly deals with the physical attributes whereas multiculturalism does not. Multiculturalism is an educational way of learning to appreciate diverse cultures. Sherry Banks and James Banks said it best when they stressed that there is no universally accepted definition for multiculturalism education. Multicultural education must be used as a concept and broken down into specific parts. Koji refers to teaching strategies and classroom environments that help students from diverse, racial, ethnic, and cultural groups attain the knowledge, skills, and attitudes needed to function efficiently within and help create and permeate a just, humane, and democratic society. Some refer to pedagogy as simply the art, science, and profession of teaching or the method and practice of teaching, especially as an academic subject or theoretical concept. In to Wheeler, pedagogy is leading people to a place where they can learn for themselves. Good pedagogy is about guiding students to learning. It's about posing challenges, asking the right questions, and presenting relevant problems for the learners to explore, answer, and solve. True pedagogy is where educators transport their students to a place where they will be amazed by the wonders of the world that they live in. Pedagogy is simply how a teacher teaches. To have an effective pedagogy, a teacher must reach his or her students and guide them to think and learn for themselves. It is important to use multicultural education and culturally relevant pedagogy because it ensures that all students are included and it makes the learning relevant, thus increasing student interest. One of the main goals of teaching social studies is to help all students become knowledgeable citizens in our society. Teachers want all students to appreciate the melting pot that is the United States, as well as develop different viewpoints. Content is very important, but what we teach our students to do with the content is even more important. We should not teach our students to simply memorize facts and terms, but instead we should teach them lifelong skills such as interpreting reality, critical thinking, problem solving, and relating to others. According to Banks, multicultural education has five different components or dimensions. These are content integration, knowledge of construction process, prejudice reduction, equity pedagogy, empowering school culture, and social structure. Each of these five dimensions must be utilized in the classroom in order to effectively use the concept of multicultural education. According to Vignes, students are often not interested in social studies because they see it as memorizing dates versus discovering the past. It is approached as generalizing and boring. Vignes asserts that multicultural education is for all students and it is the teacher's responsibility to make history relevant and interesting for the students. To ensure that all students were included, Vignes gave his 8th grade class a survey to determine each student's likes and dislikes. Then he chose primary sources based on the student's answers that he built his social studies unit on. This made sure that each student could relate to his lesson in some way. Hudson Billings asserts that many findings from multicultural education research can be applied in the everyday world of teachers and administrators. This observation holds regardless of whether the educators work with many students of color or with only a few. Billings goes on to say, 
that research demonstrates that five areas are imperative regarding the education of multicultural population. Teachers' beliefs about the students, curriculum content and materials, instructional approaches, educational settings, and teacher education. The utter importance of multicultural education can be summed up in this one quote. If current demographic trends hold, our students' population will become more diverse, while the teaching population remains predominantly white. The implications is that if teachers are to be effective, they will need to be prepared to teach students who are not white. In the next section, one will be introduced to the literature that effectively integrates multicultural education in the classroom. Love Saturdays E Domingo by Alma Flor Alda is a book for ages four through eight about a young girl who spends Saturdays with her grandparents who speak English and Sundays or Los Domingos with her Spanish speaking grandparents and is supported by both households. This book is an excellent example of literature that is easily integrated into multiculturalism and social studies. The book, The Pecan Pie Baby by Jacqueline Woodson is about a young girl, Gina, who is waiting for her new baby sister to come. She is not happy about the attention the baby is getting, even before she's born, and her mother is constantly craving Gina's favorite food, pecan pie. This story's multicultural family and African-American mother and daughter is an excellent example of integrating multicultural education in the classroom. Incorporating multiculturalism in the classroom is a very simple task. These Mayan treble dolls are symbols of an ancient Mayan story that Guatemalans have passed down to their children for generations. These dolls and their accompanying history can be used to study ancient cultures and their beliefs in a multicultural integrated unit of social studies in an elementary school classroom. For example, students can read stories about these dolls and then write about the roles they played in the ancient Mayan culture. Buffalo hide can be used in a lesson on teaching students about Native American Indian culture. Learning about the various ancient Native American tribes is an excellent way to integrate multiculturalism in social studies in an elementary school classroom. For example, students could design their own buffalo hive according to the traditions and cultures of a particular tribe that they are learning about. It is very crucial that educators fully understand what multicultural education implies and what must be done to use it as a tool to effectively teach each and every student, regardless of his or her background. It is important for teachers to remember that multicultural education is a concept that has several parts that must be considered for it to be used effectively in a classroom to enrich students' learning experiences. Multicultural education is important because it ensures that all students can relate to what they are learning. This makes learning fun and increases student interest. When students are actually excited about what they're learning, the possibilities are endless.